and nothing happens. How do I keep missing these middle blocks? Hey guys, it's Dugabits and welcome back to Star Made. And we're playing on my private sandbox server. And today we're going to try and finish up the logic for this elevator. Now I've stripped out most of the logic because we're going to start it again. And, uh,. Well, let's see how this goes. We need a block for down and a block for up. These are going to be part of the call system. Let's turn off the symmetry plane first. I don't need four sets. Okay, so that is up and down. This is going to be reset. So this one's going to go down. This one's going to go that way. Okay, so and then we're going to link this one to whoops we're going to like this one to this one. And we're going to like this one to all the others except the bottom one. Now, we also need a way to detect that the elevator is where we want it. Now, here's something I haven't worked out yet. How do I do the call button? I'm trying to hide as much wiring as possible. So we're going to go like this, we're going to go like this. V. That is backwards. Okay, so down button. Let's put a second set of logic blocks against those ones because we need the same directions but we need different logic. Okay, so we've decided that this one is down. And then this one We'll control this new one. Which 
We'll control that one. Okay, so now that's down, that's up. Down sets that last one to down. And up sets everything to up. So up. That won't be a problem. Let's just link this to everything. Let's see this to everything. That's part of the call system, so let's just trigger the call for down. Okay. Now, how do I make a call button and hide the wires? Let's put an activation well activation block activation block and lock this plus this equals reset That doesn't hide the wire. Can I connect it here and get the same effect? Pull the elevator back down. Nope. Send you up. Um, 
you'll trigger that. Technically, I need you to trigger that as well, and this is connected wrong. This shouldn't be anything. Not for this floor. Okay, elevator goes up. Hit call button. Did not do as I expected. Okay, so this obviously can't just toggle that. Let's put in... <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick today. Let's put in a button. And see if it can do it. Okay, so go back up. Come back down, please. Triggers a reset, shuts the button off. So, I mean, you can decorate these with some displays to tell people what they do. Which is actually probably advisable. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, we've got up, we've got down, we've got call this reset works this logic isn't right Let's have a second floor. And we'll go into why the logic isn't right. Uh, second floor. Okay, so we're going to go up. Which is great, except absolutely nothing is resetting this logic here. So... Let's trigger a reset manually. That one aims sideways, those ones aim down. So that when you hit this down, everything goes down as expected. Wait a minute.
Okay. Now, whoa, jumped out of bill mode. We can only have it triggered when they're both set. Otherwise, it'll reset every single floor, and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Oh, it's still doing it. And... This is not an and. This is an or. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. When this one and this one are there. Then trigger this one and this one. And then let's adjust the logic the same here. When that one and that one are there, then press this one and this one. Okay, so we're on the second floor. We have the same problem of only being able to go up. But let's reset that manually. And oops, that's the wrong down button. Let's hit down. Didn't flash. Now Let's make the call. Buttons work correctly. Okay, we're down here. Hitting the call button does that. that one an activation block that goes to the and it's still there so everything turns off so we try to do the call nothing happens let's take that one out put the and in or the activation block in. We want that to hit that one. Oh, call button's been pushed. Elevator's going up. Elevator call button shuts off. And away we go. But... Nothing has reset. The lower area. Oh. 
Well. Let's come up with something clever and say we're going to use some sort of mythical piece of architecture to hide this wire. And we're going to have that one push that one, and that one. Push that one, that one push that one, that one push that one, that one push that one, and that one push that one. That way hitting any of these should trigger all the resets, but I mean, obviously we overcomplicate that a bit. Call, they're all reset. Go up. So, how are we going to handle resetting this? Now, in a previous design, I used a clock. And I just went E four five whoops. Went like that. And And then that tapped the reset button. So we call the elevator back down. Blah, 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 blah. We go up. Not enough time. Wow, okay. Still not enough time.
Okay, so the elevator goes all the way up. Let's call the elevator down to the bottom and do one final test. We're going to shave off this whole top floor. And then we're going to get out of remove mode. We're going to copy mode. We're going to copy it. We're going to go into paste mode. We're going to paste it once. Paste it twice. Now you can paste it as many times as you want. We're doing three because it's the fastest. Now first thing we're going to want to do is hook up all these reset buttons. Whoops. Where did we just accidentally connect them from? Okay. So that one's connected to that one. That one's connected to that one. This one's connected to this one, this one's connected to this one. This one's connected to this one, this one's connected to this one. This one's connected to this one, and this one is connected to this one. Ta-da! Okay, now, bottom floor is easy. everything goes down. Top floor is pretty easy. Almost everything goes up except the top floor. Oh. We have a bar. Going through the middle. Okay, middle floor. Tricky. Middle floor needs this block here to be going down. And all those to be going down. Except for that one.
all those to be lined up. And especially the one that's on to be going up. Okay. Let's do a test. Call to the middle floor. Huh. Up. Call to the middle floor. Call the ground floor, nothing happens. Okay, so I guess I missed that block. Call up to the top floor. Call down to the bottom floor. And it goes down. It skips that floor altogether. There. Up. Up. And down. And down. Now you can do stuff like the down floor button doesn't need to be here, so let's get rid of it. 
And the up floor button doesn't need to be here, so let's get rid of that one. I'll just replace it with a block. So, call buttons, floor selection buttons, go up or down rather, timers to reset, functional reset whenever you get called. This is a completed 3-4 elevator system. Now I realize this one here also makes these ones here redundant, but we'll just forget about that for modularity's sake. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, let me know, and we'll answer them in the comments. And in the next episode, we should have this elevator constructed a little more elegantly in our new station. Okay. See you next time.